Right, hiya. Thank you so much for the great support on the video I made the day before yesterday. The support on there was absolutely amazing, so I thank you all for that. Uh, in today's video, it's going to be another video about asexuality, and I'm sorry if I sort of like repeat any of the stuff I've said in previous videos, but I think a lot of you, if you are asexual yourselves, will relate to this. Um, and I'm sorry if it makes me, you know, comes across that I'm pathetic or something. Um, it's just something that affects me in everyday life, and I think it will be. Uh, I think you guys will, uh, you know, show an interest and be interested to hear how I feel. And I feel I feel like a lot of you will relate to this. Um, a couple of days ago, or a few days ago, I should say, I was um, at the beach. Uh, really nice day, really nice sunny day, uh, like it's been recently here in the UK, which was really good. Um, and I was at the beach with one of my close friends. Um, but yeah, we were down the beach and I was just like, do you realise how much it sucks that you're so different, like, that, you know, when you don't like sex and stuff? And he's like, what do you mean? You can't, you know, what do you mean? I was like, well, just look around. Look around this beach. Uh, you've got a family here with kids. A family here with kids. Though That couple there has kids with them. And it's like, sure, a lot of those kids, well, not a few of those kids may have been adopted. But at the end of the day, the, of the people on that beach, the adults, shall we say, um... You know, they've all had sex and have been interested in sex. I don't know that for a fact. Um, but statistics show that, you know. And it's just, when you see people like that, with the families and the, and the kids and the in relationships and... Just thinking, just like, yeah, they have sex. They clearly have sex, you know. They, they've got these kids. And it's just... Oh, it's hot. It's freaking annoying. It's freaking. It's not. No, I'm happy for them. Like, I really. Ha it's really nice to see families like that together and, uh, you know, enjoying themselves on the beach in a nice summer's day. It's really nice to see. Uh, I don't mean to sound like a pessimist, uh, poo, uh, because, you know, that is really nice to see. But it just sucks from my perspective that why can't I like sex? You know, sure, I don't have to be in a relationship. You know, I'm, you know, I've been single all my life, but. I just wish I liked sex, really, um, because if I did like sex, by now I would have been in a relationship, and I, you know, I, I don't know that for 100%, um, but I'm pretty damn sure, because the amount of uh, potential relationships that, uh, you know, or conversations that I've had with girls, and once I've brought up I'm asexual, that conversation seems to slip, <laughs> we stop speaking, um, because sex to a lot of people, especially teenagers, and, you know, younger people is a huge thing in a relationship and in life really um which is fair enough you know i respect it completely uh i respect everyone's thoughts like that and when people do say like sorry i don't really want anything to do you know i don't really want to speak anymore if sex isn't going to be a part of your what you want in a relationship i accept that because uh, i can understand that most people like it the thing that annoys me is the fact i don't like it uh, so I'm not targeting people, I'm not targeting uh, heterosexuals at all, you know, I respect them completely and I wish I was one of you, so I don't mean to target them at all because, you know, as I say, I really wish I was heterosexual more than a lot of things right now. Um, and it's just like, in scenarios, like even at university and stuff, like you've got lecturers and they like start off, like they say, oh, like my son is, you know, is now going up into school and I'm just like my lecturers had sex it's just I know it's just a weird thought to have and I don't know what I'm expecting but I'm just expecting to I suppose relate to someone like someone to also say like oh I don't like sex either no no we're, we're the same we're, we're, we're similar it's never happened I've never met an asexual sure I've met a load of you through here which is absolutely amazing and without this I don't know where I'd be quite quite honest with you um, but in real life, I've never met an asexual, well, an asexual that was open about it anyway, and told me about it, but just hearing that, and just like saying, oh, you know, even my lecturers, uh, have more of a sexual desire than myself, have more sexual attraction than myself. Why can't I be that way? I just get so envious and it's sort of what I focus on a lot during lectures and <laughs> things because it just makes me feel so crap and it makes me feel so sad and alone because 
it's just everyone around me, and especially being a student where the topic of conversation is sex a lot. The games that we play involve sex, well, not actually having sex, but speaking about it and talking about experiences that are sexual. And even like you videos on YouTube now are uh, very much sexualized. Uh, we have sexualized pranks and like sexualized games, and they tend to be the most popular, um, which is fair enough. Like even see big YouTubers like talking about it in videos and stuff, you know. And just them like playing games that like talk about past experiences and their past sexual experiences and stuff. It's just I watch those and I watch those a lot and you know I really like a lot of the YouTubers, the big YouTubers, the generic ones that perhaps are more supposed to be aimed at like teenage girls. And here I am, almost twenty, turn twenty next month, and I watch them, but. You know, and I, I see that, and I'm just like, I want that. I want to like this thing, and I try it. I, I like, I try to a lot, um, like this stuff, and the stuff I search online and stuff is. I I just try to make myself like it, for sure, um, and. I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know why I don't like it, and I really don't know why I'm like this. But for those that it just annoys me when people say it's just not a real thing because it affects me so freaking bad, and it affects my everyday life for sure. And I hate it. I hate it um, so freaking much. So I'm sorry. I can't. I can't be like a role model for you, all your asexuals at all. Far from that. So people who I don't, you know, people send me messages um, daily, weekly, uh, saying that I'm like sort of some sort of inspiration um, to asexuals. And sure, I would love to spread more awareness, and I do my best, absolute best, to spread spread more awareness because it, it needs it. In quite honestly, it needs it. But I can't be a proud asexual because, and that's just me being honest, because I just don't enjoy being this way, and it negatively affects my life um, severely in terms of relationships, in terms of the future, in terms of friendships, dis discussions, relatability. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, I realised that was a really depressing video so I'm very sorry for that. Uh, but it means a lot that you're watching and I'll speak to you very soon.